The French pear martini combines the flavors of pear-infused vodka with elderflower liqueur, and it's such a killer flavor combination that I wanted to make sure that non-drinkers also had a chance to enjoy the flavors. Our first step will be to sugar the rim of the glass. And for that, I have a traditional V-shaped martini glass here. Just want to get a little lemon juice around the outside and the inside of the glass. And then just invert it into some super fine sugar. Super fine is kind of a midway point between granulated sugar and powdered sugar. All right, next we're going to chill our liquids in a glass filled with ice. We're going to start with two parts of a pear nectar here, next to half a part of an elderflower syrup. And you may find the elderflower syrup at some specialty grocery stores, or just search online. You should have no trouble finding it there. Then we're going to shake this in a shaker. I'm going to give it a good shake, make sure it gets nice and chilled. Now that we've shaken it, we're going to strain it into our glass. and then top it off with one part of ginger ale. Ginger and pear are such a fantastic combination. Our final touch then will be to garnish this with a beautiful edible flower. We're just gonna float right in the middle of the drink. And there you have it, a French pear mocktail. And if you'd like to try the alcohol version, check out my French pear martini. I'm Chef Dennis Pitchford. Join me at foodchannel.com for more recipes and trends about your favorite cocktails.